Hey, welcome to my channel. This is Jacqueline from Happily Gorgeous. I am going to be showing you how I did my makeup today. Nothing crazy, simple, everyday look. So stay tuned. I have some errands to run today and I just wanna share how I get ready with some tunes in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. So I've already washed my face with our three-in-one cleanser. This stuff is I couldn't live without it at this point. I'm so obsessed with it. It cleanses, balances, tones, nourishes, and hydrates. I use normal to oily because I have oily acne skin. And this stuff really clears up my skin. I don't feel as greasy. And um, without drying it out though, because I've used so many cleansers before, especially for oily and acne skin, and they just leave your skin feeling really dry and flaky. And ours doesn't do that. So anyways, I already did that. And now I come in with our climate control. And if you haven't heard of this, this is like moisture in a bottle. It is so amazing. It is an anti-aging moisturizer that gets in on the cellular level. So I just put a couple spritz in my hand and I go to town. So one thing I've really learned lately is that the key to good makeup is taking care of your skin. So you gotta start with skincare and then work your way up, right? So, I just put the climate control on my face, and it really is just going to soak right in. So that stuff works at the cellular level and moisturizes your skin and layers under, like not just on the surface. So, so many moisturizers just layer on the surface. This stuff really soaks in. And I love that once you put it on, it doesn't really feel, it doesn't feel like you have anything on. So then I come in with my normal to oily daytime moisturizer. That's just gonna add another moisturizer. This also has a mechanical SPF in it, which our nighttime one doesn't, obviously. So this just is really going to protect my skin from the day and moisturize my skin. So I have a look nice and good. I normally I never really put a lot of stuff on my face because I felt like it always felt heavy lotions, moisturizers, and ours don't. I mean, I can't believe it. I really can't. So everything that I'm showing in this video, I will link in the comments below. So you, if you want anything or you have any questions, just let me know. My contact information is also in these videos. All right, letting it dry a little bit. So now I want to put on, do you see my makeup caddy here? Guys, this was like game changing. I found this on Amazon. I'll put the link below, but I'm like so obsessed with this because I used to have my makeup in all these little drawers and things. And yeah, it was a struggle. So anyways, this is just so much better. So I'm gonna put some concealer on, some spots that I have. I'm also using our color correcting concealer. This stuff is really pigmented. Like I've seen it cover tattoos, which is pretty cool. So I have some acne scarring that I'm just trying to cover up. Our skincare has really helped clean up my skin. Um, so I don't have a lot of active blemishes. These are just a lot of scars. Oh, it's funny though because I started using our skincare for, um, I think I'm almost to two months now. And I can really see such a big difference. You'll have to look at my before and afters. Um, but like I had no acne for a minute. I was like, what? I cleared everything up because I still break out like a teenager, like it's embarrassing. So I um, was really excited, all my acne was getting under control, and then I used our um, detoxifying moisturizing mask, and this stuff says it is going to remo remove impurities from pores and diminish redness to reveal softer looking skin. So anyways, I used that for the first time one night, and I woke up the next morning, and I had like breakouts all over my chin, and I was like, what happened? And then I realized, oh, my uh, my mask I did last night really worked. So, you know, sometimes breakouts isn't a bad sign. It shows that our products are really working and clearing out. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, I didn't bring up my little mini mirror up here. Do I have my mirror? I don't think so. So I'm gonna be getting nice and personal with you this morning. You're welcome. Okay. So I think I've blended out all my concealer. I don't really cake it on. I don't like to look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, you know? So do you see this stuff also is color correcting? So it canceled out a little bit of redness that I had in my cheek there. 
I'm gonna put just a little bit underneath my eyes to brighten. We have a, um, a white color concealer and I really need to get my hands on it because that would be so perfect under your eyes to really lighten and brighten. So when it comes to lightening under your eyes, you wanna do this like little triangle pattern like this to illuminate underneath your eyes. So guys, I am no makeup artist. And if you're watching and you're like, oh my gosh, you're not doing it right. I'm sorry. I'm just doing what I've learned and what works for me. So I'm not gonna claim to be a professional even though I'd like to get my certificate sometime soon. But right now I am just having fun with some makeup, doing what makes me feel good. And that's all that I care about, you know? You know, I read or I heard the other day that it has been proven that women when they're wearing makeup are more productive than when they're not. Like, it's just proven. I wanna know, I wish I was part of that study. But I believe it. Like, there's times where, since I work it from home, um, I will stay in my jammies and not put makeup on because no one's gonna see me that day. Like, I'm not, if I'm not going out, I don't have an event. Um, and it does start to affect your mood because when you're wearing your jammies, it's like you're still sleepy or you're on vacation or you're home sick from school, kind of that kind of feeling. But when I put my face on and I just feel much more ready to tackle today. Oh, I just put on our color correcting tinted moisturizer. This stuff right here is so awesome. So it's not a foundation guys. It's a moisturizer that has color in it and it counteracts redness and it's actually good for your skin. It's um, non-comedogenic, non-comedogenic, I always say that wrong, which means it doesn't clog your pores. So everything I'm putting on my face, all of our products are non-comedogenic. I need to look at the pronunciation again. Um, which is huge for me since I said I'm very acne prone. So like, look how, it looks like I have foundation on. Not like sh heavy coverage either. It looks just so natural. It counteracts redness. It's good for your skin. Um, it has our Cineplex Complex in it, which if you haven't heard of that, it is a cellular renewal boost. So it has a kinetic enzyme in our Cineplex Complex that increases the rate at which our skin cells renew. So it's sloughing off dead skin cells faster and making new ones grow faster. So that is the, the key to young looking skin, right? Because your skin's always constantly moving, you're gonna look better. Okay, so I then come in with a little bit of powder and I'm team beauty blender. Um, I really need to get a better foundation brush. Maybe that would change my mind, but these are so cheap and they do really well. Um, I dampen it just a teeny tiny bit. So I've also found using a beauty blender to put your powder on is kind of game changing because think of when, unless you have really high end brushes and even then, when we're using a brush on our skin, you're kind of damaging the surface of your skin cells. So you're like sloughing them up and making movement and aggravating your outer layer of skin, which is dead, which is kind of gross. But so by aggravating your skin, you're gonna give your makeup surface uneven texture. But by using a blender, I'm kind of just gently pushing it down. So I'm not irritating the skin cells. I'm not disturbing my skin surface. So my makeup will look a little bit better and I'm not doing unnecessary over exfoliation. So no harm there. Okay. So I just put a little bit of powder on. Um, next, let's see what I want to do now. I want to do my eyebrows. Guys, you need to get one of these trays. I am just, I love it so much. I used to, like I said, have everything in a drawer and then I'd never be able to find it or I just get a mess. So this kind of keeps me nice and organized. So I'm taking our eyeshadow actually to do my brows. This is our um, darkest brown called Garnet. And it um, is smudge proof and crease proof for those eyes, but you can use this all over your face. Like I've seen girls use this as um, bronzer, as blush, not the brown obviously, but like a purple. So I have very rugged brows. <laughs> And I don't care like I that's just me that's what my brows look like I don't do blading or plucking them really I kind of just let them let them live <laughs> their life my mom also always had really full brows and I don't know 
is it hereditary? I just, I don't mind the way that they naturally look. So, you know, do your own thing. Makeup's meant to make us look pretty and feel confident and accentuate what we already have, right? So I would never, I don't use makeup to change who I am. So I just use this just to lightly fill in my brows. If I was in front of my big mirror, I would trace them out just a little bit better. I can't really see. Yeah, so anyways, I just take the my little tiny eyeliner, or yeah, eyeliner, eyebrow brush, and I just take some off the wand because a little tiny bit goes a long way. Here, you know what? I'm going to rub some on my hand and show you at the end of this video how smudge proof this stuff is. So this is the eyeshadow again. It does have to dry a little bit before it's smudge proof, like obviously, right? Um, so I'm just painting some stripes on my hand. Look, I like put one little dab and I'm still, blend, like, it goes so far, so far. Okay, so do my brows look better? I told you they're kind of crazy looking. And I don't mind it. Okay, I'm gonna come in with my little spoolie, right? That's what these things are called, spoolies. Oh yeah, my brows are kind of uneven. I just brush it out to kind of distribute the color through the actual hair. So I'm doing my makeup to go run some errands. I need to go to the mechanic. My husband was taking his car to get to take his car to work the other day and then um, totally realized that our brake lights are out and that's not safe to drive at night which is he was going to the airport late so I kept his car and now I need to take it in for a bulb okay so I'm taking the same color I put on my brows putting it in the corner and then running it through the transition I'm totally using a smudge brush right now because my other brush is dirty huh who feels me I don't really clean I let my dirty brush pile kind of Mound up. Okay. Like I said, I'm not claiming to be an artist here. Can you hear the music? This is a playlist I found on Spotify. And I will link it here too, actually. I just love it so much. It has a lot of old classics in it. And if you're like me, you grew up in a house with, you know, your parents' music playing, not the new hip stuff. When I was growing up through school, I had no idea what the kids were listening to because I was listening to what my mom was listening to and my grandparents. So I think that's kind of hilarious. Like Drake or not Drake, who was really big in middle school for me? Usher? Yeah, I think Usher. And I had some friends come to class one day and they like just got a CD and they were like so excited about it. And I was like, what are you talking about? I don't know any of what you're talking about. Okay, that might be, is anyone else? I I tend to go in one eye and then I'm like, oh, this looks pretty and then I add more to the next eye and then I keep going back and forth for like forever. Anyways, a little tiny bit of our color goes a long way. Um, and for best long lasting crease proof wear, it's best to kind of add thin layers and let it dry a little bit. So if you saw, I kind of put a little bit on, blended it out. And that's not like crazy a lot of look or color, right? So now for my eyes. You know what? I'm going to use shell glitter because I can't, I can't get over how much I love this. So this is one of our limited edition eyeshadows. It is gorgeous. It is so pretty. Um, we have shimmer shadows and glitter shadows. And this one doesn't have too much glitter. But it's still pretty glittery. You ready? Okay. So I just put it on my lid with glitters. I find it's better if you don't bring it up too high or you look a little too disco-y. So I just pat it on to reduce fallout and like let it do its thing. So I'm just putting that on the lid and patting it in. And then I'm going to do the same over here. Just a little bit. Guys, I should have bought more of these just for myself because... I love them so much. 
since I have brown eyes, I really like, I think brown eyes, you know, we're supposed to go, we can go browns, we can go golds, we can go purples and pinks, and I really like, I like the pinks. Can't help it. Okay. I think, I think that's good. Okay. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to put on, let's see, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of a white eyeshadow I have from an old palette here because I'm cheap and I've recently switched to Cenogens, but I still am using up this old stuff that I have because, but not the foundations. Like I refuse to put anything else on my face now because I don't want to take away all that good work that the skincare has done for my face. So I really like adding a good highlight in the corner of your eye. It really just brightens up your eye. It makes them look bigger, makes you look more awake. I think it just makes such a big difference. So I also run this underneath my brow to lift, lift them. Okay, it is mascara time. And I don't use anything fancy. This is Maybelline. Baby, it's Maybelline. This is just, I don't know. I was going to say what I grew up with, but I think I started using this in high school. And I don't think I ever changed because I like it. I know some girls say they get like raccoon eyes. Um, that like the powders will break off and fall off. And I, I guess maybe if you rub your eyes a lot. I don't tend to have that problem. This is my favorite wand. It's the heart shaped one. You see it? So I use the fat side on the outer edge and then I flip the other way. And I like to turn, curl, like turn the brush as I apply it. Kind of helps separate and pre prevent clumps. So we have an amazing waterproof mascara. And when you hear amazing waterproof, you know what that means, it doesn't come off. So since I'm just putting makeup on to go on a couple errands, I'm not looking for a waterproof right now. If I was going to the pool or if I was going to something big where I knew I'd cry, like a wedding, shoot, I should wear waterproof mascara to go to the movies. Does anyone else cry during movies? I do, it's so embarrassing. I just, I'm one of those people who like, I just put myself in everybody's shoes, especially when I'm watching TV. Like, if someone loses their dad or loses their grandpa or something tragic happens to someone they love, I'm just, I'm like, what, what if that happened to my best friend? What if my dad, oh no, and then I just start sobbing. I don't know. Is that a good sign? I don't know. My mom always told me, no, never mind. I'm not going to say it. It's not a nice thing. She used to tell me that men who cried in movies are weak. I don't think I believe in that though. I think it just shows a certain level of sensitivity that is really sweet and endearing. Okay. So that's just my lashes with some Maybelline. Good enough for me. Okay, blush. And I, I just love this thing. Okay, blush and then lip color. I think I'm all done. And a little highlighter, maybe I'll do some contouring. Yeah, I'll do some contour. Just kidding. You're not done with me yet. So like I said, I'm still like transitioning into all Cinegen's products. This is an old palette I have. So for me and bronzing, I have a very ovular, round, full, chunky face. So I find my cheekbone ends here, and then I kind of follow the line underneath it. And something I've re learned recently is when you're applying bronzer and blush, to try to make a very conscious effort to blend up and not blend down. If we blend down, you'll be sagging your face and the purpose of makeup is to lift us, right? To make us look a little more awake, a little slimmer, I could use that. Guys, it is real how much they say you gain what, uh, how much weight you gain after you get married. I got married two years ago and I think the whole first year I just put on so much weight. I've like plateaued, but really I need to, I need to get with it and get back to where I was. Okay, my cheekbone again, so I'm going to come right underneath it. 
and blend up. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> I kind of went a little too high. That's fine. We're good. We're all set. Guys, I come in, I'm still not good with using my brushes completely. I like use a brush and then my hand comes in as like backup control. It's funny. Okay. Is that enough? <laughs> Might have overdone it a little bit. Okay, and then I run a little bit more of my dark color under my chin to reduce that double chin I have. Guys, I need to get to the gym. Someone help me, please. <laughs> um, I When I first learned contouring, I found like this cheap thing, I think at Target, and it told me how to contour. And it said to like run it here and then like highlight. And I think I was running it on my chin line. I constantly look like I had a um, five o'clock shadow. It's not a good look, ladies. <laughs> like let's try to keep it under the chin. Okay, that's better. Uh, I'm going to come in with some highlight after I do my blush. I always like doing my blush first. Where did my blush go? Okay. Our blush is crazy pigmented. So as much as I love it, you do have to be careful because if you put too much on, it's not very forgiving to take it off um, unless you're using one of our lighter colors. We have six colors. This is our brightest pink. Um, we have a nice little pretty dusty rose, chocolate, cherry, and they're a little bit more subdued so you could get away with it, but not with this one. So I literally, I just squeeze a little bit out of the top of the tube. Did it just like, <laughs> okay, I just bring it to the top without even squirting any out, but I'm basically just wetting the tip of the blush. I do it kind of gently and slowly because I don't want to waste product. But you know what I do is when I do get too much out, I put it on my eyeshadow, on my eyes as my eyeshadow base. It's really pretty and pink. All right, so I just rubbed the brush. And this is my favorite brush for applying our brush, blush, brush. This is my favorite blush brush. This is a cheap one I got from TJ Maxx, I think. But it was one that these were really popular. They're just really coarse, um, like packed in there and really soft bristles. So for me, with my round face, I follow my pupil to the end of my nose and then I come over like a finger length. So for me, um, since I'm very full, my no-no is to bring my blush too far in because it'll accentuate my round chunkiness versus I want to take and bring my face out. And so I'm gonna rub here and then I go up towards the top of my ear. So then I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. So our color, our blush is so pigmented, like I said, and it will last all day. And it has skincare in it. So remember I talked about the Xanaplex complex when I was putting on our climate control, or whatever I was putting on, our lotion, I mean daytime moisturizer. Our makeup has it too, everything but our lip scents. So the eyeshadow I used and my brows, the blush, it all has Cineplex Complex in it, which is going to help my skin while I'm wearing it. Guys, we are the first company to do that, and I'm just so proud. I think that is so super cool that we are the first company to integrate skincare into our makeup. Because, like, why why wouldn't we? Like, why would we put makeup on if we're doing damage to our skin? Which is what everything else I had ever been using has been doing. Okay, so... Do you see, like that adds a lot of color. So if you're not as bold into the blushes, we have much subtler colors. They're still very pigmented, so a little goes a long way, but you don't have to look so bright and cherry colored. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter and I'm almost done. Guys, this has been so fun. So if you see my videos, I am very new to the YouTube world. So thank you for welcoming me. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I hope to have fun here. I want to have a nice community. I'm not that intense of a person, so this isn't, I'm not gonna be an intense YouTuber. You know what I mean. Okay, so I put a little highlighter underneath my eyes. It really gives a lot of glow. Uh, right here, right here. For me, because I am oily, I don't want to go too crazy because it can just start to make me look greasy. So that's 
good enough for me. You can run a little bit here too. So when we highlight, we're bringing your eyes attention to it, right? And when we contour, we're taking it away. So when I did this, you're supposed to see this less and see here. So it's bringing your eyes towards the center of your face to help thin you out a little bit. Okay, I think I am done with everything. Now I just have the fun part left, which is lip suns. My favorite thing ever. Guys, like this has been out for, I mean, this boomed a couple years ago. And apparently I lived under a rock because I never tried it until recently. I mean, the beginning of the summer, it's when I joined. And I am just, I am so obsessed. I never wore anything. I wore chapstick. I used to try lip stains, long lasting stuff, because I'm not gonna wear lipstick and then learn how to eat with lipstick. I'm just not that kind of girl. Like that's too much effort. I don't like it. So finding this was game changing for me because I can put it on, it's gonna stay there. I don't have to look in the mirror all day long and worry about where it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna shake it up. This is key to even distribution. You want your color not to look splotchy. You want it to go on nice and even. So this is Bella. It is right, yeah, I thought I was about to put something else on. This is Bella. It is a neutral color with a matte finish. I say this color looks good on everyone. Like I haven't seen this look bad on somebody. It is just one of those colors that we all can pull off. So I clean and dried my lips. You apply this in three, I'm trying to hold up three fingers, three thin layers and you let them dry in between. And that's key to getting it to last all day. The reason why we clean our lips is because we want this color to molecularly bind, molecularly bind to your skin, not to saliva, not to your makeup, not to food. So you might say your lips are clean, but girl, just wipe them, just wipe them. That's fine. Let it dry. So, by letting it dry, you're letting the layers actually be separate. If you put it on too soon, you're not getting three layers. You're getting one muddy layer that might ball up and peel off. So, when you're doing this, don't tell someone else how to do it because you shouldn't talk. It makes it so hard to talk. <laughs> okay, layer two. So this is really so easy once you just follow the like two steps. Clean lips, dry layers. Like that's it. So easy. It's so worth it. It lasts you all day. You don't have to reapply it. You can eat your hamburger. It wears differently. So it wears differently for every person. Can you understand me? So some people, their skin's pH may be a little different. So that means that their skin may not handle the molecular bond as well and it might break sooner. So that just means some people can wear it 18 hours and some can't. But we guarantee at least four. Uh, I personally think it lasts always at least. So dry, now we're gonna end it with glossy. This is gonna seal in our color and provide moisture. I promise if you try our lip scents, you'll love it. If you stick with it and use this gloss, you will have the softest lips. Like when I first started, my lips were very peely and dry and it was because I was using products that were drying out my lips and not moisturizing them. They all had wax in them which provides this or creates this moisture barrier on your lips like they seal um, surfboards with. You know it's wicking moisture. It's keeping the barrier between your skin and moisture. So our products don't have wax in them. So what that means is when you're putting this gloss on it is soaking into your skin. It is moisturizing your lips. Like I have baby soft lips now. I use our lip balm at night. I use this during the day. I have no peeling. I just like a normal exfoliation every once in a while like all skin does and it's totally normal and it's so guys
this has changed everything. It's going to change my life too. I love this business. I love, I could go on and on. But anyways, thank you so much for being here. Oh, I had to show. So this is our Garnet Shadow Sense. Remember, I swatched it on my hand earlier. Can you see? I'm like actually moving my skin and it doesn't smudge. So we say it's smudge proof. Like if I sat here all day and like rubbed on it, <laughs> it's going to come off. Um, but like, look at that. I don't have never seen another eyeshadow do that. And this also is non-drying. It has our Cineflex complex in it. It's good for your skin. So if you wear our products, you will see such a big difference in your skin, your complexion. Um, I just, I love it. Can you tell? I love it. And it looks natural. I don't look like, I could have put foundation on and covered maybe some blemishes more, but I would rather look natural. That's just me. So anyways, guys, I really enjoyed having you here. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like these videos, subscribe. I will be doing more of these every once in a while. I have so much fun sharing you with you this amazing makeup. Um, I tagged everything in the comments below that I've used, and I sell all these products. So if you're interested in anything, please just contact me. If you're interested in doing what I'm doing, just contact me. Um, I would love to talk to you. So thanks so much for being here, ladies. <laughs>